Hi, welcome to MrSaladDressing.com. Have you been to the grocery store lately to pick up some salad dressing? And you look at that shelf and there are tons of options available to you. The question is, what are you going to choose? Are you going to go for low fat, no fat, low carb, low sugar? What's your goal when you go to that grocery store? The choices can be overwhelming. And then you might come home with a dressing that's fat free, like this one. I found it on the grocery shelf, brought it home, and the very first ingredient is high fructose corn syrup. Yes, yeah, sure, it's fat free, there's no fat in there, but it's packed with sugar. So what do you do? Well, what I've decided to do is to make salad dressings at home that are low in sugar and low in fat, and they taste great. So please, come along with me as I make a recipe right now on MrSaladDressing.com. I am making a creamy Asian salad dressing. I'm going to use a little bit of yogurt. This yogurt is lower in fat and low in sugar. I think they use an artificial sweetener, so it's a really good choice as the base for a creamy salad dressing. You could use white sour cream, you could use light mayo, but I'm going to use the yogurt in this case. I'm going to use some ginger puree. I'm using tablespoon actually a teaspoon of sesame oil. That's a really, really nice flavor. And a teaspoon of soy sauce for a little saltiness and a nice Asian flavor. So I'll mix this together and give it a taste with a cucumber. I'm really not thinking that's going to need any salt because of the soy sauce, but it may need, may need a little bit of pepper because that'd be a nice contrast to the sweetness in the yogurt. Let me give it a try. pepper breaks up the sweetness. I think it's a really important thing to have in this particular dressing. I'll try another little taste, make sure it's okay. Yeah, that does it. So add the rest of the cucumbers and toss this together. Oh, I left some behind. <clears throat> that was the soy sauce, not the sesame oil. I taste the salad dressing with some of the vegetable because if you just tasted it on your finger, you would probably think that it's too salty or too something or too sweet or whatever. But you gotta keep in mind that that little bit of dressing is going to coat all these cucumbers or any vegetable that you're using. So the flavor has to be strong when it's a small quantity because it's going to be covering all these vegetables and, and cucumbers especially will um, emit some water, the water will come out of the vegetable, so that will dilute the dressing. So you really just need to have a strong dressing. I'll put this in the refrigerator for a little bit and then salad is served. Thank you for watching MrSaladDressing.com. You've just watched me make another salad dressing recipe. So what are you going to do? Are you going to go home and make it yourself? Are you going to go in your pantry right now or your refrigerator and pull out those ingredients and throw it all together? Or do you have a recipe of your own that you like to use? I'd love to hear about it. So please go to MrSaladDressing.com and type it in the comments. Even better, sign up for the email list and I'll send you the recipes every week so you know what's happening at MrSaladDressing.com.